Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you optimize the images on your WordPress website. It is going to compress the size of the images and it will increase the page speed of your website. So if you have a good page speed, then your website is also going to rank higher in the Google search result because the page speed is also a ranking factor in Google search algorithm. So if you have a good page speed, it is going to rank at the higher position position in Google search results. So we are going to install a free plugin. I do have a pro version of this plugin. So I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor and WooCommerce on this website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. We will start with the free plugin. Here search for Smush. So this is the name of the plugin Smush. And this is the plugin you will see smush lazy load images optimize and compress images and you can see that it has been installed on more than 1 million websites so it's a good plugin for image optimization so click on install now and click on activate all right so the plugin has been activated and in the bottom left hand panel you will see smush click on it and here you will see a small setup wizard. You can go through this setup wizard. It is very easy to set up this plugin. So I'm going to click on begin setup. And the first option is automatic compression. So when you upload any image to your website, it is going to optimize the image automatically. So you don't need to optimize the image manually. So I'm going to enable it. Click next. On the next, you will see super smush. Optimize images up to two times more than the regular smush. So it is going to compress the size of the image two times more than the regular smudge. So I'm going to enable this one also. Click next. So it is EXIF metadata. Photos often store camera settings in the file that is focal length, date, time and location. Removing that data is going to reduce the size. So I'm going to enable that one also. Click next. Lazy load. So it is going to enable the lazy load of the images on the pages. Let's consider that on a single page you have 10 images. So it is going to take some time to load those images. If you enable the lazy load, the page is going to load the content or the text on that page first. And after that, it is going to start loading the images. If the user is not going to scroll down to that image, it is not going to load that image. This is how the lazy load works. And it is also going to help you increase the page speed. So you need to enable this one. Click on finish setup wizard. Now the setup wizard is done and it is going to scan the local media. And here you can see that images optimized in the media. 30% and we have almost 207 images on this website need to be optimized. We can start optimizing it using the bulk smush. Now let's go to settings here. Smush mode is on. This is for the pro image size you can customize the size these are the size size of the images automatic compression is enabled metadata is also enabled image resizing if you want to resize the image if you have big image you can resize the image and you can use the minimum size of the image if i click on it you will see the maximum width and the maximum height so it is going to reduce the size of the image. If not necessary to use big images, you can enable this one and limit the size of any image that you upload to your website. Original images. So here you can see compress original images. By default, WordPress will only compress the generated attachments when you upload the images, not the original ones. Choose how you want Smudge to handle the original images. So we are going to compress the original image also. Email notification, enable email, be notified via email about the bulk smush. So this is for the bulk smush. You don't need to enable it. Bulk restore. So if you make any mistake, you can restore all the images. Use this feature to restore your image thumbnails to the original state. So leave it as it is and click on save changes. Now let's go to the other settings here. Here you will see directory smush. If you have any directory of images, you can select that directory and you can smush or optimize the images in that directory. Right now, I do not have any image directory here. Let's go to lazy load. We have already enabled the lazy load. So you can see that it is going to lazy load these types of images. Output location will be content 
post thumbnail. So these are the basic settings of the lazy load. I don't think you need to make any changes here. These are the base settings. Let's go to CDN. Now, if you want to use CDN, you can enable the CDN, but that comes with the pro plugin. Next option is local web P. Now, the WebP is the next gen format of the images. It is going to reduce the size of the image and you will definitely see the difference between the file size of the JPG or PNG image as compared to the WebP images. Now, this is supported by all the browsers these days. However, in order to use the WebP feature, you will need the pro version of this plugin. Let's go to integrations. Now, if you want to enable the Gutenberg support, you can enable this one. Let's go to settings here. Image resize detection, detect and show incorrectly sized emission, images, translations, configs. All right, so I don't think you also need to make, you need to make any changes here. So I'm not going to make any changes here. Below that you have tutorials. If you want to learn how this works, then you can go to tutorials and you will see some tutorials there. Let's go back to dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see bulk smudge and you have 207 images that needs compressing. So I'm going to click on bulk smudge. Now we are on the bulk smudge page and I'm going to click on bulk smudge. Now it says waiting for recheck. Now here we are using a free plugin and it is going to optimize only 50 images. And if you have more than 50 images, you can go for the pro plugin and the pro version will bulk smush all the images in a single click. It is not like that you cannot optimize more than 50 images. You can optimize more than 50 images using the free plugin. However, you need to do it manually. So after each 50 images, you need to click on the bulk smush again. Then it will go through the next 50 images and it will optimize the remaining 50 images. So you need to do it manually. So let's wait for it to finish optimizing the bulk smush. Now here you can see that it has optimized 50 images and you will see the message here. The free version of smush only allows you to compress 50 images at a time. Upgrade to smush pro to compress unlimited images at once. If I click on a resume, it is going to optimize the next 50 images. So this is how it works. So if you are using free plugin, you will need to click on a resume again and it will optimize the next 50 images. Now here again, you can see that it has optimized the next 50 images and we have got this message again. Now, if you don't want to do this manual work, you can go for the Smush Pro plugin. Now, before that, I'm going to upload one image and I'll show you how it is going to optimize the newly uploaded image. So I'll go to media, click on add new. We are going to add a new image here. Click on select file. This is one of the images that I have downloaded from Pexels and you can see the file size of this image is 3.25 MB. So I'm going to select this one, click open and it is now going to upload the image. So the image is uploaded and if I click on the image, you will see the file size of this image is 306 KB, which is almost the 10% of the original image size. Let's go back to Smush. Now here you can see that we have optimized around 100 images and total savings is around 6.8 MB. Now I'm going to install the pro version of this plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Click on upload plugin. I have it downloaded. So I'm going to browse the plugin and click on install now. Click on activate plugin. Now in the bottom left hand corner, you will see Smush Pro. Click on it. Let's go to bulk smush. Now we can optimize all the images in one single click. And as we have installed the pro plugin, we can use these options also CDN and local WebP. So if I want to smush all the images, I can simply click on bulk smush now. And it will start optimizing all the images at the same time. So this is how you can use the free plugin to optimize the images on your WordPress website. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.